I know what you're thinking. Why are you in a McDonald's? Because A, I'm still hungry, and B, this one has stained glass windows and a chandelier. I shit you not. Even though I rip on McDonald's and Starbucks, I have to say they are always consistent and always useful when you need them anywhere in the world. So, my hat's off to them. What should you do after eating a cholesterol bomb? Eat another cholesterol bomb. This one, extra special because it's like a taste of home. East meets west. The Portuguese version of the famous Hong Kong egg tart. I already know it's gonna be good, but just for kicks, I'm gonna try it anyway. Holy shit. Sugar, butter, condensed milk, all the things that will stop your heart, all in one luscious bite. Mm. Delectable. Ooh. Well, no trip to Porto is complete without a port wine tasting, and we're taking a tour. The tour was kind of a snooze fest, but uh, the wine makes it worth it, so here we go. Cheers. Okay, we didn't just drink. The tour also included a Fado performance, a classic Portuguese musical style dating back as far as the 1800s. Finally got to Lisbon. Feels more metropolitan. Kind of, you know, it's like whatever, like a city, not like Porto. Just as I was about to write off Lisbon, things suddenly started looking up. I mean, you can't buy weather like this. Before, I was kind of feeling down in the dumps, but now, happy as a clam! Yay! Where? Because it's sunny out. And I like big open spaces with lots of people, because I'm an extrovert. Now I'm just talking stream of consciousness, and not even scripting anything. And now we're jaywalking. <laughs> and now I'm giving you a blow by blow of what I'm doing. <laughs> One thing is for sure, I only record when I'm happy, because otherwise I don't feel like talking. Duh. So, oh wait, here we go. Guess who bought a pair of tacky shades for 10 euros?